good afternoon to all respected teacher and my dear friends the topic of our model the topic of our model is uh, doyang hydroelectric power generator dam with a smart city basically our group consists of two uh, ten members and then uh, we are from group b we are representing group b uh, so we have divided our so we have divided our model into three parts doyang river is one of the largest rivers in nagaland which flows through Wokar district about 21 km. It is also known as Zhe or Zhe by the local tribes. Zhe Tulo and Tishi Bin, the largest of all, merge together with Doyang River. This river enters Zhenibudu district from Wokar before going further down, downstream and falling into Tansari River. Uh, we have divided our model into three, three parts. The first part is for the dam and the second part is for the village area and the third part is for the smart city. Basically, the materials we have used in our model is uh, color, paper, color paper, thermocol, cardboard, uh, nails, uh, copper wire, matchsticks, uh, bottle caps, pipes, uh, and gum fevicol and our model is a zero budget model we have uh, the first part is the dam area that the, uh, we have uh, it's a it's the doing uh, doing dam project it, uh, basically it was originally built by the constructors but uh, due to some uh, problems they were not able to build it up so our plan is to make it uh, make a doing doing hydroelectric power generator dam the first part the water flows from the dam towards the downstream and we have connected a generator over here the generator uh, the electricity is passed from the generator towards the nail uh, towards the electric post uh, the electricity is provided to the smart city 24 into 7 hours and there is no shortage of water supply we have even made solar panels above all above all buildings uh, the elect uh, so that there will be 24 into 7 hours electricity available and there are even rainwater harvesting we have even made a city tower the in our smart city there are hospitals church police station police station restaurant school choice mall build theater etc uh, we have made even the farm areas so that the uh, vegetables can be produced from the from the from the village itself and the water is also useful for the farmers so uh, they have sit uh, so we have situated the farms uh, near to the uh, near to the generator advantages of dams are is useful for flood control is also useful for irrigation purposes and industrial purposes as well water is also useful for planta uh, plantation of crops it also gives cooling effect to the environment. Advantages of solar powers are it can be also useful when uh, when the when the dam cannot produce electricity. Advantages of rainwater harvesting are it stores water and helps for the later use. Disadvantages of dams are is not. Uh, is not useful in dry areas. Uh, advantages of these advantages of solar powers are is also not useful in cold regions where the source of sunlight is low or less. Adva these advantages of rainwater harvesting is is not useful in areas where the rainfall is unless. Thank you.